Practice at homework lesson 3.6. Choose the multiplication method. Estimate, then choose a method to find the product. So they want us to estimate, which means to round. And then find the product, which means to multiply. Question one. They have 31 times 43. So 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. So you got 93. Then you multiply, then you add the 4, or add the 0. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. Add that together, and they get 1,333. Then they rounded the 31 to 30 and the 43 to 40. And they got... 1,200 as their estimate. Number two, 67 times 85. So they multiply five times seven, which is 35. Carry the three. Five times six is 30 plus three, 33. Add the zero. Eight times seven is 56. Carry the five. Eight times six is 48 plus five, 53. Add that together. Five plus zero is five. Six times six plus three is nine. Three plus three is six. Drop the five. They got 5,695. So they rounded 67 to 70, then 85 to 90. Zero times zero is zero, zero times seven is zero, add the zero, nine times zero is zero, nine times seven is 63. So their total was 6,300. Number three, 68 times 38. 8 times 8 is 64, carry the 6, 8 times 6 is 48, plus 6 is 54. 3 times 8 is, oh wait, add the 0, 3 times 8 is 24, carry the 2, 3 times 6 is 18, plus 2 is 20. Add that together, four plus zero is four, four plus four is eight, five plus zero is five, two plus zero is two, 2,584. Now you round 68 to 70 and you round 38 to 40. Zero times zero is zero, zero times seven is zero, add the zero, four times zero is zero, four times seven is 28. They got 2,800 as the estimate. Number four, six, 95 times 17. Seven times five is 35. Carry the three. Nine times seven is 63 plus three, 66. Add the zero. One times five is Five. One times nine is nine. Five plus zero is five. Six plus five is eleven. Carry the one. Nine plus six is fifteen plus one, and that is sixteen. One thousand six hundred and fifteen. Now, you round the ninety-five to a hundred, and you round seventeen to twenty. So you multiply zero times zero is zero, zero times zero is zero, zero times one is zero. Add the two, add the zero. Two times zero is zero, two times zero is zero, two times one is two. So the estimate is 2,000. Number five, 49 times 54. Nine times four is 36. Carry the three, four times four is 16 plus 3, 
19. Add the zero. Five times nine is 45. Carry the four. Five times four is 20 plus four, 24. Six plus zero is six. Nine plus five is 14. Carry the one. Four plus one is five, plus one is six. Two plus zero is two. 2,646. Now you round the 49 to 50, and you round the 54 down to 50 as well. To get zero times zero is zero, zero times five is zero, drop the zero. Five times zero is zero, five times five is 25. So you get 2,500 as the estimate. Number six, 91 times 26. Six times one is six. Nine times six is 54. Put the zero. Two times one is two. Nine times two is 18. Add that together. Six, four plus two is six. Eight plus five is 13, carry the one. One plus one is two. 2,366. Now you round these two numbers. So it'd be 91 goes into 90 and 26 goes to 30. Now you multiply. Zero times zero is zero. Zero times nine is zero. Add the zero. Three times zero is zero. Nine times three is 27. So the estimate number is 2,700. Number seven, 82 times 19. Nine times two is 18. Nine times eight is 72 plus one, 73. Add the zero. One times two is two. One times eight is eight. Add that together. Eight plus zero is eight. Two plus three is five. 8 plus 7 is 15. 1,558. Round the 80, 82 to 80. Round the 19 to 20. 0 times 0 is 0. 0 times 8 is 0. Add the 0. 2 times 0 is 0. And then 2 times 8 is 16. So the estimate number is 1,600 or 1,600. Number eight, a movie theater has 26 rows of seats. There are 18 seats in each row. How many seats are there? So the question is asking us how many seats are there in total? So we know in the problem it says there's 26 rows and in each row there are 18 seats. So we multiply 26 times 18. There's 26 rows and in each row there are 18 seats. So eight times six is 48, carry the four. Eight times two is 16 plus four, that's 20. Add the zero, one times six is six, one times two is two. So we add that together, eight plus zero is eight, six plus zero is six, two plus two is four. There are 468 seats in total. Number nine, each class at Briarwood Elementary collected at least 54 cans of food during the food drive. If there are 29 classes in the school, what was the least number of cans collected? So it's asking us what the least number of cans that could have been collected at that school. So it tells us that if there are 29 classes, so it's 29 times and here in the problem, it says there are at least 54 cans collected. So that was 54 cans was the least number that each class collected. So we multiply 29 times 54 to get the least number of cans that could have been collected by the whole school in total. So nine times four is 36, carry the three. Four times two is eight. Plus three is 11 at the zero. Five times nine is 45. Carry the four. 
5 times 2 is 10, plus 4, 14. Add that together. 6 plus 0 is 6, 5 plus 1 is 6, 4 plus 1 is 5, and 1 plus 0 is 1. So the least number of cans collected was 1,566 cans. Number 10. How is multiplication using partial products different from multiplication using regrouping? And how are they similar? So the question is asking us to compare partial products from multiplication using regrouping. And we're looking for their similarities and their differences. A possible answer could be partial products is a step-by-step -step multiplication that uses its place values to multiply, while regrouping is simple multiplication. They are both they both are similar because they are processes. Lesson check number one: A choir needs new robes for each of its forty-six singers. Each robe costs thirty-two dollars. What will be the total cost for all forty-six robes? So. The question is asking us what is the total cost for all 46 robes. So the total cost. And each robe costs 32. So we need to multiply 32 by 46. 6 times 2 is 12. Carry the 1. 6 times 3 is 18 plus 1, 19. At the 0. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. Add that together. 2 plus 0 is 2. 9 plus 8 is 17. Carry the 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. Plus 1 is 4. 1 plus 0 is 1. So the total cost for all 46 rows would be $1,472. Number 2. A wall on the side of a building is made up of 52 rows of bricks with 44 bricks in each row. How many bricks make up the wall? So we're asking, the question is asking us, how many bricks make up the whole wall? Well, it tells us there are four, 52 rows of bricks with 44 bricks in each row. So we would just multiply 52 by 44. 4 times 2 is 8. 5 times 4 is 20. Put a zero. Four times two is eight. Four times five is twenty. Add that together. Eight plus zero is eight. Eight plus zero is eight. Two plus zero is two. Two plus zero is two. So there are two thousand two hundred and eighty-eight bricks in the wall. Spiral review number three. Write an expression that shows how to multiply 4 times 362 using place value and expanded form. So the question is asking us to use place value and the expanded form of 4 times 306, 362. So 362 in expanded form, since this is 2 1s, 6 10s, and 3 100s. So you put 300, since it's 3 is in the 100s place, plus 6 tens would be 60, plus 2 ones. But then you're multiplying it by 4. So then you'd put parentheses and you put 4. Since then you would distribute to find the answer. But we're only looking for the expression. So the expression is 4, parentheses 300, plus 60, plus 2. Another way to write this is 4 times 300 plus 4 times 60 plus 4 times 2. Number 4. Use the model below. What is the product of 4 times 492? So the question is asking, what is the product? We know that's multiply, put an x. 4 times 492. So they give us the, the model. So they divide, they use the expanded form of 492 by doing 492. So now we just multiply it by 4. So 400 times 4 
4 times 0 is 0, 4 times 0 is 0, and 4 times 4 is 16. So we have 6. We have 1,600. And then we get 90 times 4. 4 times 0 is 0. 9 times 4 is 36. So we get 360. And now we do 4 times 2, which equals to 8. So we add all of these together, and we get 1,600 plus 360 plus 8. 8 plus zeros. Oh, so sorry. I did not mean to do that line right there. So it's plus 8. 8 plus 0 is 8. 6 plus 0 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. And 1. So you get 1,968. 1,968. Number 5. What is the sum of 3,094 plus 200, 259,728? So we know when it says sum, that means we are adding. So you can get 259,728 plus 13,094. 8 plus 4 is 12, carry the 1. 9 plus 2 is 11, plus 1, 12, carry the 1. 7 plus 0 is 7, plus 1 is 8. 9 plus 3 is 12, carry the 1. 5 plus 1 is 6, plus 1 is 7. 2 plus 0 is 2, so the total is... 272,822. Number six. During the during the 2008-2009 season, there were 801,372 people who attended the home hockey games in Philadelphia. There were 609,907 people who attended the hockey game in Phoenix. How much greater was the home attendance in Philadelphia than in Phoenix that season? So when we see it says much greater, we know that we have to subtract and find the difference. So we're looking at how much greater was the home attendance in Philadelphia than Phoenix. So we subtract, we subtract 800, 800 and 1,372 minus 609,907. 2 minus 7, you can borrow from the 7 next to the 2. So that would be equal to 6. So then this would be 12. So 12 minus 7 is 5. Now we do 6 minus 0 is 6. 3 minus 9, 9 is greater than 3, so you borrow from the 1 over here. That would be a 0. This will be 13. 13 minus 9 is 4. 0 is less than 9, so you borrow from the 8 over here, so this will be 7. This turns into 10, so then you have to borrow from this, so then it goes to 9, and the 0 turns into a 10. So 10 minus 9 is 1, 9 minus 0 is 9, 7 minus 6 is 1. So the difference is 191,465 people.